Here with uh, Chelsea's head coach Thomas Tuchel. Welcome to Abu Dhabi and congratulations. So we're going to take questions in the room first. Here at the front, please. Congratulations, Mr. Tuchel. Thank you very much. Like uh, Julius Caesar, you come, you saw you in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I would like to have the impressions of the of of the match, tough match, yeah. decided by penalties. So impressions about the match, and about, about the match. and about and about mm. the penalties and about your opponent. Thank you very much. Yeah, the strong opponent. Uh, for me, a, a typical South American team, very, um, very good individually, and um, and a huge solidarity and discipline, and um, huge sacrifice against the ball. Um, like uh, they can defend, they can suffer, and they defend together. So uh, we knew it can be difficult to create chances and half chances, and we knew it. Uh, we have to be patient and relentless at the same time. Um, like it is sometimes in a final, it's a bit like stiff in the beginning. You look for solutions, but you don't want to open up to too, too many spaces for, for counterattacks um, on, on which they heavily rely and where they are very, very good. So this was for me more or less the first half. It was a bit like stuck and we, we struggle a little bit with the fluid, fluid fluidity of, the, of our match. So... Um, so we, we changed a bit the structure uh, in, in the second half and, and found the spaces better, scored a wonderful goal, had uh, some, some two, three good chances, half chances after that. And uh, for me, in the, in the moment where we were in total control and, and were the better team and, and seemed to find spaces better and better and to, to implement a, a higher rhythm, in this moment we gave a penalty away uh, from a throw-in which is very unusual um, and, and so the, the whole story starts from scratch which is mentally and physically uh, was not easy so but I have to say I, I think we, we never stopped attacking we never stopped trying um, um, throughout the 90 minutes and in, in the before overtime, we took another. We, we, we changed the structure again to have, to have a different structure to attack and, and to defend counter attacks. And, and I have to say, the team did very, very well in extra time to control the match completely. And, um, and, and the guys from the bench had a huge impact. And of course, I mean, uh, if you have a late penalty, you're also lucky, of course. Uh, but I think we deserved because we we did not allow a lot of chances and and we we never stopped trying and we never stopped like being the and being active and and um, and doing the most for the game. So yeah, uh, we take it like it is, like it is. It is a final tough opponent and and a fantastic victory, of course. <clears throat> Hi Thomas, Hi. congratulations! Um, second cup in just over a year. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And can you just talk us through your last thirty-six hours? It must have been pretty, pretty hectic for you. And did you, <sighs> did you? Well, you never know whether you were going to get here or not. So that must have been a little yeah, bit intense. Yeah, I was. I was several times on my way to the airport and uh, on my way back from the at you, <laughs> while I was driving, called back because test was not negative. So. Uh, and um, and and finally we made it and I arrived yesterday for dinner and at uh, 8.15 in the evening I arrived on time to to um, to the team so no chance to to uh, to be part of the last training um, so I took the session uh, the, the the meetings today of course very normal tried to do as normal as to prepare the team for for the opponent but it was like my first day here and and uh, now we leave it was uh, like even my last day from yesterday it was not nice to watch semi final on uh, in the office at the screen um, but uh, yeah you as a coach you want to be in the sideline and uh, I'm I'm happy now that all the effort and everybody who helped and was so supportive through the days. Um, um, that the effort was worth it, and and uh, we managed to get the cup. Hi, Thomas. Um, you, you sound like you've lost your voice a little bit. Is yeah, a little bit. The, I'm surprised, is that, actually. Is that from being outside and everything? Yeah, of course. And also, um, <clears throat> you're usually so you know active on the touchline during games. What what actually was it like for you, the semi-final, and and also the 
the plane is going. At the semi final, I was walking up and down in my office, and uh, I had a tactical uh, a tactical signal, like to whole see the whole pitch, and I had a TV signal on the on the big screen, so two big screens, and I was in contact at half time and from in second half with my assistant on the on the Tribune. So um, and and we did the same in the cup game against Plymouth. But uh, it's not like that. I'm uh, constantly talking to them. Like uh, it's like it's more or less like every 10 minutes or every 15 minutes you get a little bit of input because you see you have a wider angle to see it. But it's it's very strange and it's also about like coaching is also about feeling and at the touchline. So I also needed the input from the guys on the sideline. Um, it's not possible to coach only right out from the office because you also need to have. Uh, for me, you need to have the. the Uh, the closeness to the game and to the players uh, what you think is good and who should maybe have an um, impact and uh, yeah for today was uh, we were like actually very calm before the game we tried to calm the team down and 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 to 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 tell them like what um, what a fantastic opportunity it is to to play football and and like that Every footballer in the world is, is jealous on us to have the chance today to play this final, and uh, like uh, maybe so many young 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 boys out there like dream to be one day in this final and, and watch this game. And we reminded ourselves that all of us have been this boy somehow, and it's it's also a moment to enjoy and to enjoy the hard work and the sacrifice that we will put in now in, into this game. And uh, yeah, in the second half and uh, in the halftime and then before overtime, we tried to help a bit, like with tactical stuff, and tried to encourage the team to 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 keep on pushing. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Hi. Um, well, uh, first about the importance of this trophy. Congratulations for another one, by the way. Yeah, and because for Brazilian fans, as you can see, uh, it, it meant a lot. And uh, of course, uh, there was a lot of discussion between the gap that there is on South American and, and European clubs, financial gap. Yeah. Uh, so you've been involved in a few uh, decisions, in a few uh, decisive uh, matches. How does this one compare to other ones? Because Palmeiras managed to be very competitive. Yes, absolutely. And there was no doubt that they are. I mean, like this is one game and, and for one game you can always close the gap, find also a financial gap because it is a it is a huge football country and they have uh, so so many good players and you, you can you can never doubt that they are competitive in 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 one or two matches there is a huge gap financial financially but i think it plays a huge role maybe also in their belief or like in their approach to the game that they want to show um, that they can close this gap so the role in which they play is a little bit easier to prepare a match than the role from us where we well, we need to prove and we need to prove like that 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 um, that we are more competitive we have maybe more games on this kind of level that that maybe then they have in their league and and um, this is maybe the difference in in the approach but i want the the, the atmosphere was 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 fantastic and uh, it felt like uh, it was felt like like an away game and and they, they had a huge crowd and and crowd was absolutely amazing um and um I mean, the, 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 maybe this, this, this cup or this tournament is not so highly regarded in, the, in, 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 in Europe. But once you are here and once you feel it, 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 it totally catches you. Once when I was in the bus and, and you prepare a final and you drive in the evening and you see the lights of the stadium and the new stadium and it's a, it's a final and you don't know the other team because they don't come from your country, not from your league. It's... it's It's a it's a fantastic feeling and it's it's uncomparable to any other feeling. So that that's that's why it was was so beautiful also to to play this game. It was a huge challenge and and we did not expect anything else. We had a tough semi final against Al Hilal, who had a fantastic team, fantastic coach, and and forced everything out of us. We struggle in the moment. We don't play our best football. It's not our best moment uh, in, in general. We struggle a little bit individually and as a team. But as Peter Cech says, says many times, we, we, managed, we managed to find a way to win and to be in the final and to win the final. And, and for this, the, the team deserves full credit. At the back, Nick, thank you. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, Congratulations. Thanks. And uh, just on Kai, um, I bet you wish every match was a final. 
wouldn't you? Given how yeah, obviously he he, come, he turns up really for the big games, doesn't he? And the seems like <laughs> seems like I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, and he, he was again decisive today. That was not easy to 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 shoot <laughs> to shoot uh, this penalty. And I'm I'm happy that he stepped up and and he took it the way he took it. So this can only be good for his for his development. And uh, well done. So we only have time for a couple more here at the front, please. And we also have Rudiger in the room, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> Of course, can only be Tony. Hi, you, know, you mentioned your frustration about going backwards and forwards with, with, the, with the results. Was there a point where you think it wasn't going to happen and you weren't going to get it? And, and, and obviously Chelsea have won all the titles now. Have you had the chance to speak to Roman? Because it's an incredible achievement for a football club. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is for him. There is no doubt that it's for him. And uh, we met like uh, shortly on the, on the pitch after the, after the final. And uh, I said, congratulations. He said, congratulations. And I said, it's, it's, it's for you. It's your club. And, and uh, it's your input and your, your passion who made this uh, possible. And we're happy to be part of it. So, of course, the trophy is for him. And uh, yeah, it was a back and forth. And, and you know, like uh, we were running out of flights. I mean, we have a time difference and, and we knew there a deadline a deadline is coming. And I took the, the second to last chance uh, uh, to make it. The last one would have been to arrive today in the very morning. So um, I'm happy that we made it finally. Last question for coach. Here at the front. Thank you. Um, hi, Abdurrahman Al Kalawi from Arui newspaper. Um, I wanted to ask you first, congratulate you about uh, uh, Chelsea winning their first ever uh, World Club World yeah. Cup, and uh, wanted to ask you a couple of questions. The first question about uh, Mason Mount leaving at the 30th minute yeah. was it a tactical decision or did he Absolutely was he not. injured? Yeah, he was injured. He, he like in, a, in one of the very first scenes where he like. Uh, went uh, had a run in the second post with with Aspliqueta and and they fell and his opponent fell on his ankle and he hurt his his ligaments badly so we have to see um, so it's an injury and he came straight to me and said it does not feel good and feels very stiff and painful and does not know if he can continue and so we had to do the decision and the last question is uh, about the man of the match today uh, Antonio Rudiger yeah. there's a lot of talk about him being a Chelsea player, obviously it, it comes and goes, but you don't want to ruin today's uh, triumph, but how confident are you about Rudiger being a Chelsea player? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, and at the moment he is a Chelsea player and he, he delivers since, since day one, which is very impressive because he delivers on an absolutely high level. And uh, I think he knows that we, we have uh, um, huge respect for him and I think the, the, the fans love him and uh, we, show, we show our appreciation to putting him on the field. He's, an, he's a leader, leader of the group since, since we arrive and uh, he is in talks of course, you know the situation, situation is, is, is not new, it does not affect his, um, his performances, that is the, the very most important for me. And um, the other things are taken care of by, by the club and, and, and Tony's agents. Thank you very much, Thomas Tuchel. Congratulations again. We'll be back Thanks. in...